Home entertainment remote controls. They're so antique. All those buttons cryptically labeled, too small to read, too small to get on without bumping the one next to them. And even if you do master this interface, it's a dumb device. Well, today, thanks to a nice growing friendship between tablets, smartphones, and your high def television, we can actually get to the point where you can control your TV in a way that feels like it's part of the 21st century, not a technology that was cool when Eisenhower was in office. I'm Brian Cooley, here to show you how to set up the Peel remote system for a whole new level of advanced discovery and control of your home AV system. Now here's what you'll need for this how-to. First of all, an HD TV. You probably already have that. You'll need to have access to your wireless router. Now this is kind of key. You need access to the port on the back. You probably have several, and it's got to be hooked up, of course, putting Wi-Fi around your house. Next, you're going to need the Peel remote system. That includes this obscenely shaped thing called the fruit, and this rather odd-looking thing called the cable. Very creative. You'll also need their app, which is free. You can load that up on either an iPhone or an iPod Touch, an iPad, many Android tablets. In fact, the Galaxy tabs often come with this pre-installed, but note the Kindle Fire does not yet support it. Now we've got all our stuff together. Let's do the setup. First off, go to the App Store on your mobile device and install and launch the Peel app. And bear in mind, we're going to be using Wi-Fi as well as Zigbee technology to put this all together. I'll explain as we go. First thing it asks you is the zip code to find your TV service. Enter that. It loads up several choices in most areas. Pick the one that you actually have a subscription or an account with. Then it'll say configuring provider. It's pulling up some channels. It'll do a quick channel test to make sure it has the right program listing by asking you if you see a channel or two on your television. Go through that by saying, help me pick the right channels. Once you get the basics set up, it'll ask you if you want to personalize your experience. This is part of what Peel does, so I would definitely say yes, personalize. And it's going to ask you a few questions about the kinds of shows you like to watch. Then you get to this screen that shows all these tiles of different shows. Now you've set up the app. Now to set up the actual hardware, hit that little gear on the top, which gets you into settings. Select Setup Room, and we're going to call this room something. It's the living room in this case. Now follow the directions very carefully. The sequence can be a little tricky here. You plug in this cable here to power first and then put the Ethernet end of it into a hardwired jack on your router. This is one of my gripes with this product. You can't plug that into a hub or a switch elsewhere in your home. It has to go into your actual router and it's got to be within about 25 feet of where you watch TV. For a lot of us, that doesn't work. So make sure you've got the hardware set up that will accommodate these distances and that port requirement. Then tell it the cable is plugged in once you have that done. The light on the cable is going to go blue, then green. Now it's ready for the next step, and that is to pair it with this thing called the fruit. This is what talks to your TV and issues infrared commands out of this black base down here. Take off the top, put the battery in, and while you're in there, take a notice of that code right there, the pairing ID. Mine is 46395. I'll put the cover back on, and now I'm going to enter that right here on this screen. Position this thing so it's aimed towards your equipment, your television, your AV rack, kind of with the big fat belly pointing that way. That's where the infrared comes out of. Then answer the questions about what brands or brand of television or other gear you have. It's going to do a test by turning your TV on. So you turn it off with your remote and then hit this button to turn it on to make sure the codes are correct. Okay, now the TV's working, you continue the same process using add new device to set up all your other stuff. Your AV receiver, your DVR, your Blu-ray player, what have you. You can put it all in here and that all goes under one room profile, living room in this case. Now that all the gear is set up, and it was a little bit complicated, I'll grant you that, let's see what we got for our effort. First of all, if you tap right there where it says the day and time at the top of the app, that will bring down the ability to flick through a wheel of day and time program listings. It's sort of a really easy to use program guide, unlike that nasty one you may have on your cable box. But the really interesting stuff comes in this little, what, flick wheel we have here. Under top picks, for example, you see just for you, things which the Peel technology has recommended based on some of those preferences we put in earlier. You've got your friends' favorites in here as well because there's a social component to this, your favorite channels you can program, and your favorite shows. Along the bottom, you can search by show to find out when and how it's available. Same thing for movies, 
and sports. And you can make this thing part of your social network. That's that last tab on the right. If you log in through Facebook, your friends' choices on television will start to filter into some of your preferences as suggestions. And you'll be able to let folks on Facebook know what you're watching, because that's what I dream of doing. Okay, now if you're into this idea of really rich exploration and discovery and control via your mobile device, I commend you on that. There are other ways to do this. You ought to check out Logitech's Harmony Link, which uses a remote IR blaster like the Peel, or the Digit app, which works through the Beacon IR blaster made by Griffin. If you don't want something like the fruit sitting on your table, there's the My TV remote, which uses an IR dongle that plugs into your iPhone directly and offers similar discovery and recommendation, or the really simple L5 IR dongle that plugs into the jack on your iPhone or iPod Touch and gives you pretty basic device control without all the discovery and recommendation part. So there are many tiers, many ways you can move your television control and discovery experience forward and do it with existing gear you own, your smartphone, your iPod Touch, or your tablet. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for joining us for this how-to.